In the great island of New Guinea, there are 42 different species of birds of paradise. Who would have thought that on our very own planet, there exist creatures so bizarre and otherworldly that they could easily be mistaken for inhabitants of a distant alien world? And this is like the nastiest snot you can possibly imagine. It's almost like melted marshmallows sticking your fingers together. Like, no one would have expected an animal so slay like this could be found right here. And there's more where that came from. Sharp incisors drill through bark with mechanical efficiency. Here are some of the most shocking creatures that look like they're not from planet Earth. Now let's start off with something quite comical. Kakapo. Step into the lush, fern-filled embrace of New Zealand's rainforest, and you might just stumble upon a creature straight out of a Jim Henson puppetry workshop. Meet the kakapo, a bird so whimsically peculiar that it's hard to believe it's not a figment of someone's overactive imagination. Sporting a riot of bright green feathers that form a creamy halo around its face, not to mention its striking purple eyes, prominent beak, and disproportionately large feet, the kakapo is a comical spectacle to behold. The closer you observe it, the more apparent it becomes that this bird defies the typical avian mold. Unlike their feathered counterparts, kakapos are earthbound, their hefty big bird-esque feet thudding across the forest floor. It's the world's sole flightless parrot, tipping the scales at nearly nine pounds, making it a heavyweight champion among its kin. And get this, it has the potential to outlive even some humans, with some individuals boasting lifespans of up to a staggering century. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. These nocturnal creatures come alive as the sun dips below the horizon, adding another layer to their avian eccentricity. They skillfully navigate the dark forest, scaling trees in search of sustenance, utilizing the sensitive whiskers around their faces to feel their way through the shadows. Beyond their whimsical appearance and peculiar habits, kakapos hold deep cultural significance for the Maori, indigenous to New Zealand. Entwined in their oral traditions and folklore, these birds are woven into the fabric of their heritage. Yet, despite their cultural and ecological importance, the Kakapo teeters on the brink of extinction, with a mere 209 individuals known to exist today. Each of these precious birds is meticulously named, tagged, and safeguarded on predator-free islands dotting New Zealand's coast in a desperate bid to ensure their survival against the encroaching threat of extinction. Now, let's shift our gaze from the familiar shores to the enigmatic depths of the ocean where creatures straight out of nightmares roam freely. Goblin Shark As you plunge into the enigmatic depths of the ocean, prepare to be awestruck by the diverse array of creatures that call it home. While some marine inhabitants are familiar sights, others remain cloaked in mystery, their existence tantalizingly elusive. Among these shadowy figures lurks the Goblin Shark, a true inhabitant of the ocean's deepest realms, seldom glimpsed by human eyes. Stumbling upon this real-life monster, with its elongated snout and eerie pinkish skin, is reminiscent of creatures from ancient legends. Can you wrap your mind around encountering such a bizarre sight? Because I certainly can't. Discovered off the coast of Japan back in 1898, it quickly earned the nickname Tenguzame, drawing parallels to a mythical Japanese creature with a similarly elongated face and menacing jaws. Thus, the goblin shark transcended the realm of folklore to become a fascinating subject of scientific study. The name goblin shark seems fitting once you lay eyes on this creature. Its flabby physique and small fins suggest a leisurely pace, unlike the sleek predators commonly associated with sharks. But don't let its sluggish appearance deceive you. The goblin shark boasts a remarkable sensory organ in its snout, enabling it to detect the faint electric fields emitted by its unsuspecting prey. Gliding silently through the darkness, the goblin shark relies on its buoyant liver to maintain a stealthy approach. 
Then, in a blink of an eye, its jaw unhinges, extending forward like a ghastly apparition, poised to snatch its unsuspecting victim. It's a spine-chilling scene straight out of a horror movie, unfolding in the shadowy depths of the ocean's twilight zone. Moving on from creepy stuff, let's take a look at the dance moves that this next entry has. Superb Bird of Paradise Alright, let's dive into the fascinating world of the Superb Bird of Paradise, a truly extraordinary creature that's not just about its looks, but also its unique behaviors that make it stand out from the crowd. The Paradise ID family, home to 45 different species of these birds, are scattered across the lush hills and rainforests of Australia and Papua New Guinea. Now let's zoom in on the superstar of the bunch, the Greater Loferina, better known as the Superb Bird of Paradise. What makes it so special? Well, for starters, its flashy plumage and captivating mating ritual are hard to miss. You see, in the world of these birds, it's the males who need to put on a show to win over the ladies. But here's the kicker. Female superb birds of paradise are a rare sight, making the competition among males fierce. So, what's a male bird to do? Cue the elaborate wooing display. It starts with a brief dance to grab attention. But that's just the warm-up. The real magic happens when the male creates a makeshift dance floor and belts out a loud call, hoping to catch the eye, or should I say ear, of a potential mate. When a female finally arrives on the scene, the male pulls out all the stops. He adorns himself with a crown of folded black feathers and shimmering blue-green chest feathers, ready to dazzle his audience. Then it's showtime. With graceful movements and tail feathers snapping like castanets, he dances tirelessly around the female, putting on this mesmerizing performance for hours on end. It's a spectacle that's as captivating as it is charming, showcasing the lengths these birds will go to in the name of love. You've probably not heard of our next entry, and for good reason too. Stick with us to find out why. Frilled Shark when you think of a frilled shark, perhaps your mind conjures up an image of a graceful sea creature adorned in a fluffy gown, gliding through the depths with elegance. But let me tell you, the reality is far more intriguing and, dare I say, terrifying. Let's test your imagination here real quick. Can you imagine a creature with a row of crimson-lined gills that look like they're straight out of a Shakespearean play, evoking images of royalty and drama? Well, don't let those frills deceive you for this shark is far from delicate. With a jaw sporting a staggering 300 teeth, its appearance is more nightmare-inducing than fairy tale. But let's delve deeper into the origins of its name. While the frilled part may reference its elaborate gills, the Latin term stems from its elongated body and serpentine head, reminiscent of a creature straight from myth and legend. If you were to encounter one of these sharks in the wild, I bet you'd join me in uttering a resounding nope at the sight of it. Its eel-like appearance sends a clear message. Steer clear, my friend. But here's where it gets truly fascinating. These frilled sharks aren't newcomers to the scene. They've been lurking in the depths for a staggering 80 million years, predating even some of the most iconic dinosaurs like the Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus rex. Just think about it. These ancient creatures were swimming the seas long before humans even existed, a living relic of a bygone era. So the next time you picture a frilled shark, remember you're glimpsing a glimpse into the depths of our planet's ancient history Feeling hungry? Just make sure you don't take a bite out of what's next. Banana Slug Ah, the Banana Slug, a creature often overlooked in the culinary world, but don't let its name fool you. It's not about the taste, it's about the hue. Check this slimy critter out. Bright yellow like a ripe banana, though it might surprise you to know they can sport shades of brown, white or green too. Now here's where things get interesting. Banana slugs, like their snail cousins, navigate their environment with four tentacles. Imagine having antennas on your head, but instead of tuning into radio waves, they're picking up on sights, scents, and sounds. 
those upper tentacles, they're like little optical scanners, while the lower ones are doing double duty, sensing and smelling everything in their path. But here's the kicker. If a banana slug loses a tentacle, no worries. It's like a built-in superhero power. They can regrow what's been lost, like a tiny, gooey version of Wolverine. Now, on to their predators. Despite their slow and steady pace, about 10 meters per hour, mind you, banana slugs still have to watch out for hungry critters like small mammals, snakes, and salamanders. And how do they defend themselves? With their secret weapon, slime. That mucus they excrete isn't just for show, it's a potent defense mechanism. Think of it like a slippery force field, capable of numbing predators' tongues or throats, or even sticking to any moist surface it touches. So next time you see a banana slug, maybe skip the temptation to taste test and admire its colorful resilience instead. Now here's a great example for cute, but deadly. Blue Sea Dragon. So let's talk about these blue sea dragons, which funnily enough, aren't dragons at all. Nope, they're actually part of a group called nudibranch or sea slugs, but trust me, they're way cooler than your average slug. This tiny creature looks like it could be plucked straight from an artist's canvas, with colors so vibrant, they practically pop out at you. Now you might be thinking, is this thing even real? Well, it sure is. And it's as fascinating as it is beautiful. This little marvel usually doesn't grow more than a mere three centimeters, barely over an inch, but boy, does it make an impression. Floating gracefully on its back, it's like it's doing its own little synchronized swimming routine. But here's the kicker. It's not just about looking pretty. Nope. This sea slug has some serious survival skills up its sleeve. You see, while it may seem harmless, the blue sea dragon is actually a ticking time bomb, armed with toxins that'll make you regret ever laying a finger on it. And where does it get these toxins? Well, from its diet of venomous siphonophores like the Portuguese man of war, one sting from this little guy and you're in for a world of hurt, nausea, pain, vomiting, the whole shebang. So while it may be tempting to reach out and touch, trust me, it's best to admire from a safe distance. All right, this time, we'll be venturing into the fascinating world of a quite peculiar-looking primate. Aye, aye. When we talk about lemurs, many of us might instantly think of King Julian XIII, that quirky yet lovable ring-tailed lemur from the movie Madagascar. But hold on to your hats, folks, because the lemurs we know from the big screen are just the tip of the iceberg. Lemurs aren't just cute and cuddly creatures bouncing around in animated movies. In fact, there are a whopping 108 different kinds of lemurs strutting their stuff here on Earth. Now, if you're looking for the most fascinating and maybe slightly unsettling lemur of them all, look no further than the eye eye. Think of it this way. It's like nature decided to mash up a raccoon with a rat. And voila, you've got yourself an eye eye. But here's the kicker. These critters have ears that are off the charts. Their triangular ears are the biggest in proportion to their body size compared to any other monkey out there. But wait, there's more. These ears aren't just for show. They're equipped with a fancy network of ridges that help the eye eye pick up on the tiniest sounds of grubs and larvae hiding out in old rotting trees. And let's not forget about those fingers. Long, slender, and armed with curled claws, they make up a whopping 41% of the eye eye's forearm length. So when you see an eye eye ambling along, its delicate fingers raised in a protective stance, you can't help but marvel at the wonders of nature. Scared of spiders? Well, our next entry might change your mind. Peacock Spider. Can you believe a spider could become a social media sensation? Well, meet the Australian peacock spider, named for its flashy flap that resembles a peacock's tail. This little critter has been causing quite a stir online lately. Once there were just seven known species, but in 2011, a viral video propelled them into the limelight, leading to the discovery of nearly 100 more. Picking a favorite might be tougher than choosing a dessert. 
Now don't go squirming in your seeing else. And don't worry about their venom. It's there, but their jaws are so small, they couldn't even break through your skin if they wanted to. But here's the real showstopper. These spiders know how to dance. Their seemingly erratic movements actually form a graceful routine, reminiscent of a fancy fandango mixed with the lightning speed of a Marvel superhero. It's a performance that's both mesmerizing and a matter of life and death. If the male spider's dance doesn't woo his lady love, she might just decide he's better off as a snack. It's a tale as old as time, played out in the tiny world of peacock spiders. This time, we'll be venturing the deep ocean once more, taking a look at the ninjas of the deep sea. Ghost Shark Hey, did you hear about the incredible discovery scientists made off the coast of New Zealand back in February 2022? They stumbled upon a newborn ghost shark, fresh out of its egg. And let me tell you, this little fella is quite the head-turner. Ghost sharks, or chimeras as they're more properly known, are like the mysterious ninjas of the deep sea, rarely seen and shrouded in secrecy. In fact, it wasn't until 2002 that scientists even caught a glimpse of their offspring for the first time. These elusive creatures call the depths of the ocean home, chilling out anywhere between 400 to a bone-chilling 6,600 feet below the surface. And let me tell you, it's no tropical vacation down there. We're talking near-freezing temperatures that would send shivers down your spine. But what really sets these ghostly creatures apart is their appearance. They've got these eerie dead eyes and massive wing-like fins that wouldn't look out of place on a creature from your wildest nightmares. Yet despite their name, these ghost sharks aren't actually sharks at all. Nope, they're fish with a skeleton made of cartilage instead of bone. Pretty cool, right? Now here's the kicker. These ghostly critters may lay their eggs on the ocean floor like sharks do, but their parenting game is next level. They encase their precious embryos in egg capsules, protecting them as they develop and feed on a yolk until they're ready to emerge into the big, wide ocean. It's like a tiny underwater nursery, but way cooler. In the uncharted depths of the ocean lies a creature of eerie haunting the dark abyss, like an otherworldly entity poised to ensnare unsuspecting prey. Bloody Belly Comb Jelly Diving deep into the uncharted depths of the ocean, exploration vessels have unearthed a treasure trove of peculiar sea creatures over the years, but none quite rival the eerie allure of the Bloody Belly Comb Jelly. This macabre blob haunts the dark abyss like an otherworldly entity, poised to ensnare unsuspecting prey. Its name alone is enough to send shivers down your spine, hinting at a sinister presence lurking beneath the waves. Despite its name, this enigmatic creature isn't actually a jellyfish, yet it shares many of their traits. Scientists are still unraveling the mysteries surrounding this elusive species, and its blood-red hue serves as a cloak of invisibility in the murky depths of the twilight zone. Here's the kicker. At such depths, where sunlight struggles to penetrate, red is the color of concealment, rendering these jellyfish virtually undetectable to predators. But here's where things get really fascinating. While they may appear as dark shadows to predators, these jellies radiate a brilliant crimson glow in the presence of light. Their bodies shimmer with various shades of red, with their stomachs resembling a deep, visceral, blood-red hue. It's believed that this crimson disguise serves a crucial purpose, masking the bioluminescent glow of their prey, effectively camouflaging them from prying eyes. In a groundbreaking discovery, the Monterey Bay Aquarium captured the elusive moment when these jellyfish defecate, revealing feces that glimmer like scattered specks of glitter. This luminous excretion is likely a result of the bioluminescent plankton they consume, further highlighting the intricate web of life that thrives in the depths of the ocean. So the next time you find yourself mesmerized by the eerie allure of the deep, Remember the Bloody Belly Comb Jelly, a creature that embodies the mystique and wonder of the ocean's darkest secrets. Ever seen a fish so slay before? Well, you will now. 
red-lipped batfish. Ever fancied taking a plunge into the ocean and pondered, what if fish decided to glam up with makeup? Well, strap on your snorkels, because there's a fish in town that's giving Tinseltown a run for its money in the beauty stakes, the red-lipped batfish. This peculiar sea dweller hangs out around the reefs near the Galapagos Islands, injecting a dose of pizzazz into the Pacific waters off South America's coast. Let's set the scene here. You're deep sea diving, going about your business, when suddenly you come face to face with what appears to be a fishy Hollywood diva straight out of the 1940s. But hold your breath, because the red-lipped batfish isn't your average swimmer. It prefers to saunter along the ocean floor, shuffling on some of its fins like a bat gracefully walking on its wings. Now let's zoom in on its most striking feature, those lips. These aren't your typical fishy lips. They're bold, they're bright, and they sport a striking shade of red that would make any lipstick envious. And here's the kicker. They're shaped like human lips, adding an extra touch of eccentricity to this already flamboyant creature. But here's where things get really intriguing. Scientists are scratching their heads trying to unravel why this fish flaunts such a vibrant lip color, especially since the underwater party scene isn't exactly booming where sunlight struggles to reach. Some speculate it might have something to do with attracting potential mates, making these individual batfish pop in a sea of ordinary faces. All right, folks, keep your oars close because our next entry is quite a sight to see. Dumbo Octopus. This time we'll be diving into the fascinating world of the Dumbo Octopus, also known as Grimpachuthus. These quirky cephalopods earned their adorable nickname due to their two large fins, resembling the ears of Disney's beloved elephant character. Imagine these creatures with their petite size, typically measuring around 8 inches, sporting short arms and a bell-shaped body, gracefully drifting above the ocean floor with their pale coloring. But what makes these octopuses truly remarkable is their ability to thrive in the deepest depths of the ocean, venturing as far as 13,000 feet below the surface. It's like they're the daredevils of the deep, exploring oceans all around the globe. And what's on their menu down there? Snails, worms, and whatever other tasty treats they stumble upon while scavenging the seafloor. Now here's where things get really interesting. Dumbo octopuses belong to a unique group called Siret octopuses, distinguished by the slender projections known as Siri trailing from their suckers. Scientists are still scratching their heads about the purpose of these Siri, but one thing's for sure, they're fascinating appendages that likely play a role in feeding. Unlike their more energetic cousins, Dumbo octopuses gracefully navigate the water by flapping their powerful fins, relying on the webbing between their arms to propel themselves forward. It's like watching a mesmerizing underwater ballet as these enchanting creatures move with grace and poise through the depths. Ever heard of a creature straight out of an amphibian horror tale? No? Well, you might as well now. Horror Frog Hold on to your seats because the hairy frog is about to give you the chills. You see, this little guy, also known as the horror frog or wolverine frog, is no ordinary amphibian. Covered in hair-like protrusions and armed with a bone-chilling secret, it's a creature that defies expectation. Sure, you might think, a frog with claws, how odd! But the horror frog takes oddity to a whole new level. Here's the spine-tingling truth. It actively breaks its own bones to unleash its terrifyingly sharp claws from its toe pads. Can you imagine the bone-chilling sight of a frog with claws that would put even the fiercest feline to shame? Now let's delve into the gruesomely fascinating details. While many amphibians have remarkable regenerative abilities, the horror frog takes it to extremes. It willingly inflicts self-harm repeatedly puncturing its own toe pads to deploy its bony claws. As if that weren't enough, its body then springs into action, initiating a rapid healing process to seal the wounds and create a new protective layer around the claws. But here's the kicker. 
The cycle repeats every time the frog feels threatened, turning its own body into a nightmarish battleground of self-inflicted wounds and bone-deep defenses. It's a grotesquely captivating display of nature's resilience, wrapped in a chilling tale of survival at any cost. Prepare to be enchanted by this tiny critter. Pink Fairy Armadillo Meet the world's tiniest armored wonder, the Pink Fairy Armadillo, possibly the cutest critter you'll ever lay eyes on. Hailing from the depths of central Argentina, this nocturnal creature is no bigger than your average dollar bill. It sports a shell or carapace like its larger armadillo cousins, but here's the twist. It's softer, thinner, and flexes like a yoga pro, covering about half of its tiny frame. And that pretty pink hue? That's all thanks to a network of blood vessels coursing just beneath its surface. But don't let its delicate appearance fool you. This little guy is a master of hide-and-seek. It spends most of its life burrowed underground, making sightings in the wild as rare as finding a four-leaf clover in a field of daisies. In fact, one dedicated researcher spent a whopping 13 years scouring its habitat without catching a glimpse. With such elusive behavior, it's no wonder scientists are left scratching their heads, knowing next to nothing about its population size or habits. Now, here's where it gets truly fascinating. Taking a pink fairy armadillo out of its cozy burrow is almost a death sentence. A staggering 95% of them kick the bucket within a mere eight days of being uprooted from their natural digs. Talk about a tough nut to crack. With such a delicate balance to maintain, researchers must rely on the scant few that survive in captivity to unravel the mysteries of this enchanting creature's behavior. Check out this crab, sporting a sea sponge beret and a fluffy coat that's sure to turn heads. Sponge Crab this peculiar specimen washed ashore on a beach near Denmark, Western Australia, sparking curiosity among beachcombers. The family who stumbled upon this fashionable crustacean promptly sent it off to the Western Australian Museum for a closer look. Much to everyone's surprise, experts there identified it as a brand new species. Talk about a rare find. Further investigation into the museum's crab collection revealed some intriguing specimens, now identified as belonging to the same species, the Lamarck dromia beagle. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? Now, what makes this crab extra special is its membership in the Dromedae family of sponge crabs. These critters have a knack for fashion, using sea sponges and ascidians as their stylish armor against predators. With tiny pincers on their hind legs, delicately holding these protective sponges and squirts in place, it's like they're wearing designer accessories. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. The term beagle in its name isn't just for show. It's a nod to its browned coloration, reminiscent of a beagle dog, and a tribute to the famous HMS Beagle Ship. You know, the one Charles Darwin sailed on during his epic journey from 1831 to 1836? Yeah, that ship. Darwin's groundbreaking discoveries during his voyage, which included stops in Australia and the Galapagos Islands, laid the groundwork for his revolutionary theory of evolution. So, in a way, this stylish crab is like a living reminder of scientific exploration and discovery. Talk about a fashionable history lesson. Did you like what you just saw? Well, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell for more amazing content. Again, thank you for watching and see you guys next time.